Good afternoon everyone! In today's video, we'll spend some time applying the opening range breakout backtester on a chart of Netflix. We'll look at both 30 days and 90 days worth of data, trying to understand what the overall PL has been of the ORB strategy. Now, if I come into a chart here first, the reason that I find this exercise to be a little bit more interesting, at least as of recently, is today's pattern inside of Netflix. What we had is an opening range breakout in one direction, and very quickly we reversed directions, not really having any kind of follow through here with what the ORB strategy would suggest. Now my question that I'm looking to answer is has the ORB strategy been underperforming as of recently, or has say this pattern been true for the most part over the past three months in Netflix, where really the ORB strategy is not necessarily a good one. Now to get started, I've applied the ORB backtester to my chart here, and let's start with the default settings of close above half range and half range. For all volatility box members, you can download the ORB backtester directly from our website. It's included for free with your membership. I'll leave a link to this in the description box below. Make sure you're logged in using your volatility box credentials. And once you do so, you can go ahead and click this link and download the backtester to follow along. Now again, the settings that I have defaulted to are entry type is close above, our stop type is half of the ORB range, and our target type is the same half range on the other side. If we start by applying this on our charts, let's see how the strategy has performed over the past 30 days. That's the first set of data we're looking at. There we've had 16 total breakouts, a 58% win rate for our long side setups, but a 0% win rate on our short side setups. Zero for four there, seven out of 12 on the long side uh, scenario, and a total of seven out of 16 over the past 30 days. Now the PL graph here is very clearly showing us that at least according to these settings, this strategy has underperformed over the past 30 days. Now let's see if using these same settings, this has been the case over the past 90 days. If we expand this out, over the past 90 days here, we can see that the PL graph looks a little bit different. Here, the PL graph used to be green, and at least as of recently, that green has been declining, and that green has been declining all the more rapidly, at least as of the past week right here, worth of data. So that gives us very useful information. It tells us that the ORB strategy, at least using these settings that we've loaded in as of right now, we're working once upon a time, at least towards the beginning period of this three months that we're looking at, but as of recently has now been underperforming and that strategy has no longer been working. Now let's go ahead and test a few different permutations here, trying to see if there are ways that we can improve this strategy's performance for when it does start working again. Now the first thing we can change is the entry type here. We have two different options, close above and wick touch. We've been looking at a close above, in which, just to clarify what that really means, a close above means on this five minute chart, we're looking for the first five minute candle that closes above or below the ORB levels. So in this case, this was the first five minute candle. So after that, the close becomes our entry price. What happens if we change this instead to a wick touch, which means we just need to touch the ORB levels? Do we see this PL number improving at all? So currently that's a negative 0.44. Oh, that number went down to a minus 9.89. So a wick toucher being a little bit more aggressive, not waiting for confirmation, does not lead to a higher PL with all else being equal. So let's come back to a close above here. We know that so far has led to a higher PL number. Let's next change the stop type. What happens if we expand the stop type here? If we go from a half range to a full range instead, increasing the stop or giving it a wider stop led to a lower PL value. So again, a wider stop here does not seem to be improving the situation. Let's come back to the half range stop here and next test the target type. A full range target instead of a half range target, meaning we're going for more home run sort of trades here. We would expect this to improve this number, assuming that we did hit more T2s than T1s. Let's see what happens to the negative 0.44. So now that negative 0.44 became positive a positive 21.55. If 
If I zoom out here, we still see that same overall pattern being true over the past 90 days. The PL graph here used to be increasing for at least the beginning portion of that 90 days. And in the second half of that 90 day period, we can see the PL graph here has been very steadily declining. And that's been picking up as of recently, suggesting the ORB strategy is working less and less. However, when it did work, what led to a higher PL so far are these settings right here that we found waiting for a close above, having a stop type that's a little bit more narrow, the half range stop, but going for a wider target, the full range target, at least inside of Netflix. Now, if I click OK, apply, let's see if this is still true over the past 30 days now. All we're trying to see is, is this comparison of the settings, a higher PL value, so we have a negative 13.39, is that better than giving this a half range target and that's the de facto, and that's a negative 19.875 with the consistency of red. So now if we take the information we've learned, we've really found that for our entry type, we're looking for a close above, our stop is the half range stop, our target type is the full range target, click apply, come into a 90 day time frame chart of Netflix. What you're really looking for is for this PL graph to start to show you signs of inclining again, as opposed to this decline, which would suggest that the setup is starting to get back to working the way it's been working over the past three months. And you now know the exact entry, stop, and target that you're looking at in terms of the parameters to manage the trade. All right, I hope you found this video to be useful for those of you that are interested in the ORB strategy or you just enjoy trying to backtest different things to understand what patterns might exist out there, at least shorter term patterns that are currently presenting themselves in the marketplace. Again, for all Volatility Box members, you can download the backtester for free from our website. That's tosindicators.com slash backtesters. And there, as long as you're logged in using your Volatility Box credentials, Click the ORB Pro uh, label here, and that will allow you to download the backtester onto your platform. All right, take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and we'll see you in the next update.